mean, I think we have to we have to look at everything. I mean, because I think when you you look at Madrigal, when you look at its success, um, it's, it's it's successful because I mean, these are businesses that compete and win against the most uh, efficient and the, and the best uh, 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 capitalist businesses in the world. You know, and to uh, to, to go from uh, here to here, that, that's, that's a tough proposition. I mean, you know, it's the inter-cooperative uh, working together, but it's also being able to, to, to compete on an international level. Um, and so uh, uh, this is where we need to be. There's not about 80,000 people. But uh, we, we, we've got to get we've got to get there, and uh, we have to look at whatever models will get us there. And I think uh, when you look at one worker, one vote, I mean, I think you know you're seeing sort of hybrids that are taking you know different forms that will uh, allow uh, uh, allow us to, um, uh, to to get there. You know, but another thing is I think we also have to uh, we can't work in silos. Uh, uh, because if we work in silos and it is just 110 percent community uh, becomes 100 percent community, well, we have to make sure everybody else doesn't dissipate. I mean, I think when we look at uh, problems that have really been solved in the long term, it has been uh, really public-private partnerships. Now, community needs to drive it, but uh, community alone um, uh, is not enough. Our systems thinking has to be about how do we retain the surplus that we are constantly building. We don't want to have to race against uh, capital. We want to be able to dem democratically utilize the accumulation of wealth that exists in the world so that we can use it to meet the needs of people and elevate the quality of life rather than use it for the means of further accumulation that allows even more domination. So this work we're doing is a small part of it. It is a beginning part of it but it has to consistently move in that direction. That's why even the question of public-private partnerships, I think we ought to understand only to the extent that they enhance the public capacity to move these things forward in the interest of the people rather than enhancing and making even more wealthy some of the individual entrepreneurs who will find profitable ways of doing that and continuing the stipend resources and the value created for labor out of the communities in which it is created.